In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the best way to blitz in Madden, and I'm also going to be showing you a way to defend tight out of a sin 5 pressure out of dollar. Now, what we're going to do real quick in our coaching adjustments, we're going to have our zone coverage on match. We want to make sure our auto alignment is set to base, and we're going to be utilizing the play DB Fire 2. Now, if you want to get my entire dollar three two updated defensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member, and it gets you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all of the updates. So we've dropped several updates to the dollar defense over the last couple weeks. But guys, let's talk about how you defend tight with this, specifically the tight offset uh, type formation. So the play is DB Fire 2, that's the foundation. And the setup is real simple. We're gonna, we're gonna press, and then we're just gonna walk these guys. Ideally, we want these safeties in the box. Uh, because when you put these safeties in the box, What's typically going to happen is if they do pass, if you pass commit, you're going to get crazy good pressure. Uh, and that's really the power of Dollar this year, even though he shed sacks. But like you want to get the best pressure possible because zones in this game, they really don't play very well. Um, and they can't, they can't really hold up for very long. So you have to blitz. Um, Madden 23 is a Madden that you have to be blitzing. Uh, in my opinion, to have success on the defensive side of the ball. You have to. You have to at least send four, potentially send five, and um, you have to kind of like structure your coverage off of how much, how fast the blitz is going to get home. Okay? So that's kind of part A. Part A is the blitz and understanding that. Part B is the coverage shell. So if you think about tight offset, what are the number, what are the popular concepts that you're going to get? Well, the most popular concept is this new play that everybody's running where they're going to run PA seams and they're going, and you see there, this is another example of just the pressure, but they're going to run PA seams and they're going to try to hit this corner route over here on the left side. Now, there's some things that they might do, uh, of course, to make this more effective or whatever. One of the things might be, you know, maybe they have a protection like this or something. Anyways, the point is, you know, they're going to try to throw one of these corner routes. Like, that's 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 a, a key principle. A lot of people are wanting to run out of tight right now is they want to run these corner routes. Now, another concept out of tight that a lot of people like to run is really what I'm about to show you here. Um, so if I set up my, my base defense here, which is just a simple block the safeties down, then you're, another concept you're going to see is bench with an angle route to the back. And essentially, they're going to try to hit this little angle route, quick throw. So I've got to use her that. And if the running back goes on a wheel, i got to use that as well, like a seam wheel concept. And then I'm trying to think of other popular setups out of this formation. Uh, another popular one is the Saints spot shake, where they're either going to try to quick throw the wheel or they're going to try to throw the seam streak wherever your user is not. Okay, so in this example here, you know, maybe they run a route combo like this and they say, okay, I can throw that streak and I can cut it off. A lot of people can throw that. A lot of people can throw that consistently and cut it off. It is a really, really good concept. So those are a couple things that people are going to do. Now, if you think about tight offset, where are they going to attack? You, the last the last play is really this. Um, and that is Saints in where you're going to get typically some kind of like something like this kind of. And again, if you look at this, you're either going to attack intermediate over the middle, or you're going to try to attack in the deep middle, or you're going to try to attack to the sideline that is opposite of the running back. So if you take all that into consideration, we know that they're not, they're probably not going to try to attack us, you know, in the flat sideline area over here on the right side. So what I like to do with this play is we're going to outside third the defender over here on the right. Uh, or I'm sorry, yeah, yeah outside third. Then we're going to middle third the safety on the right side. So you see that's going to be Newman um, or uh, Harrison, and you can just put him in a middle third. That's going to take away seam streaks. Um, and then on the back side of this, what I like to do is a simple cloud flat here, and then I like to try to bracket this uh, deep bomb route as best I can. Okay, So that's kind of the idea with the coverage shell. Um, on the right side, what you could do is feel free to throw that guy in a hard flat if you ever need to. If you ever feel like they're running bench, just put him in a hard flat. But this right here will play pretty decent. 
against a lot of the things that people are going to run. Um, if you look right here, as you can see. Now, another way that you can kind of structure this coverage a little bit better is if you put this deep half defender in an outside third, you can do that with packages. Um, you know, you could roll the coverage this way. The one problem with rolling it this way is you're going to get killed in the seam. You're going to, there's a lot of problem. I mean, you're just going to, it's going to be hard to stop Saint spot shake, which is the main play in the formation. Okay. So by rolling it this way, now I have that cloud flat that's going to help bracket that outside defender. And you can basically take that linebacker and kind of use him uh, as necessary. However you want to use him, if you want to man him up on either one of those receivers, um, you know, that's a good adjustment. And then the beauty of this is if they try to throw that corner route, which is so popular, you see that, that cloud flat almost always on the short side. And most people are going to want to run this play to the short side. This cloud flat is going to play pretty good. So by clouding the short side and then thirding the wide side, I find that to be the best way to defend tight. Now, again, you can, you know, you can do, you could do something like a vertical hook in the middle of the field over here. You could put him in a curl flat. I think curl flats are actually pretty, they're, they're not terrible um, in terms of like from the slot corners, but let's say you get a concept like this play saints in, and they're trying to hit you with something like this. So now we're kind of selling out to stop, you know, Saint Spot Shake. And now they go to something like this play right here. Okay. A couple things. They have to have a clear out route for that third. If they don't have a clear out route, that's not going to be there. But this is why I like the vertical hook. Because the vertical hook will play the slant for long enough. And so you'll see here the pressure's coming in. He's going to go there. I got to lurk back down in here. And you see, like, that's, that's okay coverage. Um, this is obviously the, probably the best counter play to Saints uh, PA seams, but by and large, like you're gonna be okay against Saints in because it's gonna take so long to get the play open and they have to put a clear out. If they don't put a clear out streak, like let's say, let's say for example, as I drop, throw my control on the ground, let's say for example that they, let's say for example that they don't put a clear out streak on that play, it's nowhere near as good. So, you know, like if they're running this, I'm trying to think what they would do on the backside, you know, maybe just, Maybe trying to run like double slants. This is actually a concept you see because they're trying to, you know, maybe, you know, maybe you're cross manual on some plays or whatever, but they go to this setup here. If they don't have a clear out streak, they can't throw that. So now, you know, if you look at this, that cloud is going to kind of help a little bit. And if you put this vertical hook or even just a bluff blitz, if you bluff blitz over there on the right, it puts him in this zone over the middle of the field that can be really helpful for taking away middle of the field stuff. And then if they try to throw that, that's going to be taken away every single time. So dollar is the best defense because of the pressure, because of the symmetry of the formation, and because of the fact that you can send five, pretty much guarantee your pressure, and then try to just jump a read really, really quickly. Like another really good setup is something like this and user in over here. And then if you see pH seams, you just know you got to get back up in this area. So guys, that is a little defensive tip today out of the dollar. Uh, one of my personal favorite covered shells for tight offset. If you want to get my entire dollar three, two defensive ebook, head down to the description and go join the Patreon. It's just 10 bucks. Get you access to everything over there. All ebooks, all updates to those ebooks, any new ebooks that we release, you get everything by being a member. And it's only 10 bucks and it'll take your Madden game to the next level. Thanks for watching the video. We hope to see you guys over at the Patreon page. You can join by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below.